Hello guys, so in this video we are going to cover the LLD for the logging library like log4j. So if you have if you have done coding in Java, you must have definitely used the logger class like log4j where you use log in the multiple types like warning, information, all these things. So we are definitely we are just going to design that logging library today. So one of the features is the logging library. We should be able to have multiple logging libraries like debug, info, warn, error, and all that thing. Another thing is the higher performance. Basically, we should be able to handle the 1 million concurrent logs per second. So definitely that will require some asynchronous logging and buffer. Appenders are basically where do you actually want to do the logging? Do you want to do the logging at the console, which is terminal, something like that? Or do you want to do the logging at the file? Or do you want to do, uh, do you want to have the uh, rolling file, uh, rolling file append? Like we basically have the logging rotation normally in the services. So it's like that. Or do you want to do the logging in all the three com on the three or whatever too? So we just need to have those features also. Thread safety, we need to make sure that logs should not get mixed up in the multi-threading environment. That we that very like happen usually. So if you are having multiple thread environment and multiple threads are kind of logging, there may be a chance that log may get out of the order. Okay, so definitely we need to make sure that, that problem is not here. As we were discussing, we should have asynchronous logging by using the queue. And having the multiple thread or multiple workers and all that thing so we should be able to um, do the logging in a particular format so if you have used the spring boot or some other framework you must have seen that you can define a file there xml files where you can define what kind of format of the logging you want to have and all that thing so this is what is that configuration is like basically you can define a json file or some other or xml files which we normally do in spring boot other frameworks so that the entire logger can take the configuration from that and do the logging based on the given configuration. Filtering is just more about doing the conditional logging uh, where the log only only log messages containing the specific keywords. For now, we can avoid this one. It's not most important. So first six to seven are most important thing for us. Let's discuss the design pattern which we are going to use here. While the singleton pattern, we need to make sure that we are having a basically we are having a log manager here where we can register multiple loggers. So this is this is not very important in this use case. So if you even avoid it, it's going to be fine. Um, you can just say, hey, we are having a single logger where we are using the singleton pattern. That is fine. We do not specifically need the log manager. You can even avoid it if you want. Factory pattern is we are using for the appender. So as we have seen, we have multiple kind of appender. So what we were going, what we are going to do is we are going to define our interface named as appender. Then we are going to extend it to define the multiple types of appender. So to do that, basically, definitely, we are going to use this uh, factory pattern. Uh, on the top of that, we are, we are going to create the factory pattern on top of it. Observer pattern is to, as we have just discussed, we were just discussing that, hey, what if we want to ha have the, add the logs to the file console? So all that thing is going to be handled in the observer pattern. Builder pattern is just for uh, defining the instances for the logger if you have multi complex config, but you can avoid, again avoid it if your loggers are pretty much straightforward if there is nothing much there now let's go to the classes which we are having so we are having these classes now let's first start with the appender which we have already discussed so you are having this in, uh, appender interface which is extended by the console appender file appender and async appender then we have this logger class this is a like a front of uh, the front level log class which you are actually going to use to define the logger and actually log the messages log manager as we were discussing you can even avoid it so this is just holding the uh, instance of the multiple loggers if you have into your system config loader is just to load the config and uh, create the instance of the logger config is a pujo kind of a class okay so this is the, the we are having this logger config um which is actually used in this config loader again we can avoid the we are not going to focus too much on the config part our focus will be mostly on the appender and how the appenders are actually going to get used in the logging but these are the config loader is like just only used to load the config into the system like taking the json file and like using it out okay and then conf uh, logger config and config we can we will discuss it later on now let's go back to the code what we are having so here we have just defined the enum here which is having a log level defining the multiple log levels debug in four one and all that thing this is the main class we will come to this later on this is the appender which we have defined 
So here what will happen is let's say if you want to write the message to the console, you will call this function called app and it will write the message to the console. Similarly goes to the file, it will add the messages to the file. So at instantiation time, you will pass the uh, file path where you want to append the messages and this append will actually write the message to that particular file. Logging manager which we were discussing here, you can register the multiple loggers here as we have done here. This is the hash map where you, where you can register the multiple uh, loggers. Again, we are using singleton pattern here. Async appender is where we are actually using the concurrent queues and uh, if the if the rate of the logging is very very high definitely it, it cannot be done synchronously because it is going to affect the services so we need to have it. This thing with this entire code is like we are actually having it in our premium course. So that is covered there. Config loader, this config loader, what this config loader does is it's actually take the JSON file or any configuration file which you have created uh, for now just mostly JSON and uh, it basically stores it into our system so you can later on you can we can create the uh, logger instance based on your given config uh, this is the factory pattern on the top of the appender now let's come to the main class so here what we are doing is we are defining this logger here okay uh, basically we are defining the logger and asking the log manager to provide us a particular logger instance so we are registering a logger for, at a log manager class here it basically create an instance and then store it into its class and then pass it to back to you. Then we are initializing it with the appender. Hey, we want to have, we want to add the logging. We want to do the logging to the console. We want to do the logging to the file appender. So you can do this configuration here. Now, whenever you write this info or the message, let's see what happens. Now let's go back to this class. Whenever you see this dot log, you are passing the level and the message. Okay. Yeah, it just checks some levels. Then it just do this part basically. It loop over all the appenders like you do it in the observer pattern and pass the messages to all of the, all of those appenders. Saying appender not append. That means it will call the console loader append. It will call the a file loader append and they will do what they what we have defined into their classes. So one of them will be logging to the console. One of them will be appending the messages to the file so this is how we are actually using this appender here okay uh, we have another message called format message here we are formatting the messages whatever we have got based currently we are not doing we are not, we are not taking the config from the um from the configuration which we have loaded from the config loader but definitely we can update the code to do that part also we will be doing we will be doing this in our premium course Okay, so let's go back to the main class again. Okay, so we have appended and then we are logging all these things. Now, what is the what are the issues or what are the things which we are missing into this one? So one is this basically rolling file appender. We are not having currently not having any support for how we are going to log the rotation, uh, rotate the log. So if you if you guys don't know, basically log rotation is more like you do not keep the logs of any services for more than 30 days or more than 18 days. Like it's just a configuration which you can have. So what happens is, uh, you know, all the servers are having uh, like limited storage. And so you make sure that you are not, you are not storing too many old logs. So what you normally do, let's say, let's say your period is for 15 days. So after 15 days, what will start happening is we will, we will start roll over, rolling over all the previous logs. So whatever 16th day logs, will start logging it will start deleting the first day logs with that sequence so that is what we call the rolling logs we start doing a log rotation removing the older ones and keep adding the new ones because the limit there is a limited uh, limited uh, memory into your ec2 instance or your server so we are, we have not added this one this is what we are missing thread safety multi-threading environment definitely we have not touched concurrency anywhere asynchronous logging is again we are missing it out and the configuration part so basically all these things we are already covering it in our premium course so you will be seeing it there how we can do this part 